It's time. Dudesses, welcome to this uh, reboot spin-off, my 118 adventure. We will get out and we will explore the 118 Cliffs and Caves update. Look at this, it's an epic landscape. And this is the first day I have brought absolutely nothing with me, so we are starting from scratch. And because it's uh, like all other new started series, we need to get going because it's the first day and we don't have a bed, we don't have nothing. So without further ado, you know, uh, the drill, we need to find some wood and punch it. So let's get down here and see the wood is there. Oh, there's, there's sheep. We're lucky. There's sheep. So we will actually be able to get a bed fairly soon. And there's the first tree. But... Uh, let me see that's kind of that's kind of a landmark right this will help me find my way back to spawn so i think i'm gonna i'm just gonna leave it right there we still have time oh look at these mountains i mean they're so epic really epic let's uh, continue further down uh, i can see some oak wood down here and um, let's talk a bit about the goal for this series the goal for this series as i uh, as I have uh, kind of trimmed my chunks already in 117, I haven't done any, uh, or rather, my, I haven't done very much 117 stuff either. So this is the full cliffs and caves update that I'm going to explore uh, at once. And um, I have some goals. I uh, I want to find uh, copper, of course, because I haven't really worked with copper, and I need that at oh, that's a B. I haven't really worked with that uh, very much and I need it for the cathedral in uh, St. Martin, our main island in this uh, forever world. And uh, I want to have uh, dripstone because I want that for the magical cave. And I want drip leaves, small drip leaves and big drip leaves. And uh, what else? Um, I want dripstone, uh, as I said, and uh, I want to pet a goat, of course. I want to pet a goat. <laughs> that's that's the thing. Oh, there's uh, stone. Cool. We just need a bit more iron. Is this? No, this looks quite peaceful. This is not a big cave, and that's cool. Cool. Um, so uh, I want to explore, of course, a lot. Uh, that's the whole point of this update, I think. We have to go to the mountaintops, and we have to go way, way, way down in the deepest uh, caves. I want to find uh, amethyst, amethyst uh, caves, you know, where you can uh, get these uh, crystals to make spyglasses. I want to find a lush cave and see all the hanging uh, glow berries. And I want to find a big dripstone cave so I can bring uh, dripstone back with me for the magical cave in uh, uh, St. Marcus. And um, I will be skipping through this uh, starter, this uh, early game stuff pretty uh, pretty quickly because you know this. I need to make some wooden tools and then I need to upgrade to some stone tools. But it will be interesting because I kind of heard uh, rumors that the iron is pretty scarce. Even though the iron distribution, well, all kind of ore distribution has changed and the iron and the coal, you have to find them up there. The iron is exposed in the mountain. But I still heard that it's, can be, it can be difficult to get enough iron fast. You have to do a lot of work. So while we just gear up here and get some uh, pickaxes and an axe, uh, I will tell you that this spawn is randomly selected. I just uh, punched in 
uh, in the Fadis, I punched in a meadow, and a meadow is always very close uh, by the foot of the mountains, so I know nothing about this landscape uh, beforehand. <laughs> All right, it's already getting night the first uh, the first day, so we have to head back to towards spawn in the TARDIS. And of course, I didn't time it right. Typically me, I'm not used to doing early game stuff, but oh my God, look at those mountains. And you see the, th the tree there? I was right, it's a landmark. And I remember we had some um, sheep here. That's great, that, that doesn't work. We need to have more than one in the same color wasn't there another one right there right there like that and is this enough for a bed no it's not we need to find another one let's go up here so there's a bee a night bee ha huh? and zombies so we're not going that way <laughs> nope we're going that's a that's a sheep over there let's go over here and there's a creeper hello we are not going that way either all this early game stuff. It's uh, when you're used to having guard armor. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of different. Uh, let's see. Can we get this without getting close to the creeper? Yes. And then this way. Uh, let's just let's just make a nice stand right here. Oh, there's a skeleton. If I move back here, he won't see me. So yeah, of course. Yeah, I forgot my <laughs> my workstation. Great. So let me just make a workstation and a bed, put it down and like that and ah, oh my god, oh I did make it, yeah, let me make my bed in peace, let's get away from here, let's get away, let's get away and sleep, 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 oh, right here. Yes, we have successfully survived the first night and we have a bed and we have some food. All is well. Now I need to get some iron and gear up because I want to go out exploring in this landscape. I mean, I can see from down here that it's epic, 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 but I'm gonna try to have a camera account. Just look at it so you can get some flybys because it's really, really beautiful and it's really a game changer in Minecraft. I think this is really, really something new and it will probably change a lot of things um, in how we play and how we build and I cannot wait to get going. So let me try and find some iron and make a shield and maybe a sword so we can explore a bit more safely. All right. Three iron, not a lot. We are basically just under the Fadis and I just want to smelt this up and get going. Well, this is the nearest cave, so why not go down here? It's as good as any and there's dripstone. So let's just, what? Maybe, <laughs> maybe not go this way. Okay, what's that rabbit doing down there and I, I really don't want to get exploring uh, downwards. I want to go upwards, but that rabbit right there, his food. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I got a head. What's up, dudes? So we have donkeys and bees again, and we actually have more than one donkey so we can breed them up. This is going to be nice. We can transport things and food is not going to be a problem either. Our first real cave, maybe? This is a weird cave. It's very narrow. Uh, where does this lead? This is not like I was expecting to find caves here. It's really narrow. This is like one of those noodle caves, but not that far underground. I see iron. And I see dripstone down and I hear mobs. So we're probably not going to go down there. I'm just going to grab this iron right there. And two again. Really? Look at that mountain. It's beautiful. Epic. But 
I don't want to go exploring that way right now. I want to explore the other mountains, the one with snow on it. So we have to go up here. Let us just see the dungus are still there. Yes. And over here somewhere that I saw through the other cave, there was some dripstone. So, oh, oh, wow. That's, that's a big uh, cave. Let me just get down here if I can. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a natural bridge. Let me get down here. Ooh, a bee again. Wow. Okay, this this is this is pretty epic. I mean, there's more dripstone in this cave alone than I would need to make the magic uh, cave in St. Marcus. And there's some iron there. I'm not going to go for that iron, I think. But look at this. I mean, now I'm actually on that bridge. And this is where I looked at it before. And if I go down here, we can see the bridge, the natural bridge from the other side. Let's just try and get down here and see if it's as epic from this side. And it is. I mean, that's really pretty. And I want to have a road. Imagine a road going up there and maybe some building, a tower. Okay, we're making our way up in the valley. This sounds... Oh, copper. And now we actually are underneath the bridge from... Uh, we saw before from two angles. And I just, I don't know really what I want to do with copper right now, early game, but I just want to have it. So it was one of the things that I wanted. Okay, that was pretty crazy. And that achievement as well. So we got a lot of new stuff, but look at how much copper we got from one all. That That's crazy. Now, how do we proceed here? These can do damage if you fall on them. Uh, but I really like this dripstone. But I would like to find some more iron. So let's grab this one. Two again. Really? I mean, hmm. Okay, there's some up there. The iron uh, rumors perhaps uh, seems to be true. At least I haven't found any uh, iron ores that are more than three iron by now. And that's that's not really a lot and it's quite a lot of work to to get it i mean you have to go around cl uh, climb around cliff sides to to get it okay that bridge that bridge is so epic yes one right okay look at this we finally made it down here and i'm not gonna go exploring right now because i've got absolutely no armor but look at this this is really really epic i mean really it's like it's like a big open mouth in the middle of the landscape with teeth and you know if you're gonna go down there you're gonna get devoured by the beast so wow i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, armor up and get back here and there's a zombie come here come here out in the light na 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 <laughs> yeah, die. Okay, look at this waterfall. That's kind of epic too. And the landscape around on this side, the meadow side. I really like this. Let's try and go exploring up here. It seems like the waterfall is actually coming out the side of the cliff, which is super cool. Normally it's just one source block uh, in a, in a hole but this actually look at this we go in here it's coming out of a cave that's really cool let's just try and get up here the, the stream is actually rather difficult to um, traverse when you don't have uh, any anything on your boots okay there's a glow lichen up there which means that we should be safe because nothing spawns at any light level in 118 so let's just get up here oh this is cool this is really cool and come on come on uh, can you make it fight fight damn it okay let's get some light in here let's just find my torch so now i'm gonna i'm gonna totally wuss out here and i'm gonna set my spawn because yeah as I said, I have absolutely no armor 
and I don't want to go back to spawn right now. So let's try and get up here. Okay, we need more light. Yes, yes. There was indeed some iron in here. Worth it. And actually, three is like the largest collection of iron ores I've seen yet. So what do we have now? 13 more iron. I almost missed it. We just, oh, this time, oh, this time, finally, it's more than just two or three. I hear zombies and goats. I hear goats. That's a goat. <laughs> what? Ooh, scared the living daylight out of me. Oh, no, don't stand still. They will ram you, right? Don't stand still. I don't want to be rammed. Ah! Oh, there are more of them. Right, okay. But we're here. We made it. Is this what you meant when you said I should make it to the top? Okay, it's coming. Bye. Oh, look at this view. It is truly magnificent. This must be the... Or this must be the cave that we were in. I'm not sure. Another bee. Wasn't... A village! That's definitely a village. Okay. So we have a village over there. Right. I kind of feel we need to go and explore. And again, only two. Ooh, emeralds. You can't mine emeralds without an iron pick. You knew that. I'm all confused because I was pretty sure I was going to make my starter base quite close to where the Fardis landed. But, I mean, it is quite a way to get to the village, so... I'm not really sure. I mean, a village is a good thing. Carrots. That's a canyon straight through the... I'm not going in here. Straight through the village. And another bee's nest. I really think that bees are more common here. But it must be because it's a meadow, right? Ooh, and bees. And yeah, this village is divided by a canyon. That's actually pretty cool. A good opportunity to make like, well, it will probably kill a lot of villagers. But I mean, you could make bridges here. Oh, iron. Is that copper or iron? It's copper. Now, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to take some of these. Indeed, the path does go down there. Like, shh, that's pretty, pretty cool. But I'm guessing it's going to cost a lot of villagers' lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what kind of villagers do we have? And... What kind of goods do they have in their houses? That's a cool looking tree over there. Hello. You have a blast furnace? No, and you don't do anything. I'm sorry. Oh, there's even more there. Okay. That's that's a really good village for getting this hay. Let's go in here. Now I will just yeah, I will just set spawn there as well. Thank you. Just in case. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. You want me to open the door for you? 
What are you selling? Do, 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 do. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. We are like set for life. Oh, excuse me. If you're taking a leak, then never. Don't mind me. Oh my god. Look at this. This is just. I mean. <laughs> This is just so beautiful. The hills are alive with the sound of a pig. But what to do, what to do, what to do? Uh, I landed my uh, farties over there behind those high clips there. Basically straight back and uh, it's quite a way away. So and i have this village here that will definitely help me if i stay here i mean i can get trades um so what what to do i i love this landscape i like this view here very very much but perhaps i like the one on the other side even more so uh what's it gonna be village landscape village landscape village what do you think Look at that sunset. It's just beautiful. And look at the mountains. The sun hitting the mountain tops. Fantastic. Now I need to sleep. <laughs> Is it just me or does raw rabbit and the raw iron kind of look the same? Ta -da! Now we are actually ready to take on a bit more action. I want to go caving just to explore. I mean, I'm not in a hurry to get uh, diamonds or anything. I just want to explore. But on the other hand, I also want to start building. I want to start building a home and I have a great idea for a home in these surroundings. But where? That's the question. Do we stay around here uh, close to the village or do we cross all the way over the mountain and build on the other side. Don't tell anyone, but even though you play Minecraft a lot, and even though you make YouTube videos, sometimes you don't know what to do. All right, dudes and dudesses, it's time to end this episode before it gets too long, but I just want to recap what have we learned in this episode about 118. Well, first of all, there is a lot to explore, and the landscape is totally epic and it's getting dark i have to speed this up and i think we learned that uh, copper is very very plentiful but the iron that is supposed to be in the mountains well not so plentiful uh, as the copper at least it's one two and three blocks every time you meet them so that's gonna be a challenge we probably need to build an iron farm and we've learned that the landscape is so epic that it's it's actually hard to decide where you want to build your uh, starter base because wow, wow, wow. Everything you see in this new 118 update is so fantastic that there I want to live, there I want to live, there I want to live. So we will have to make a decision very soon. And if you like the video, do leave it a like. It helps me out a lot. If you're brand new, subscribe, hit that belly button and I'll see you in the next one. I have to run now. It's getting dark. Bye. <laughs>